Well, good morning YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we've got a little bit of quick work to do here. I've only got about a half a day left here today for this, but I want to get together all the lumber I'm going to need from my siding and get it down to the shop and get it ready for staining, which means I've got to cover it up because we've got some rain coming. And then I've got a modification planned for the mobile bench that should be quite handy and quite fun to use. All right, let's get to it. Well, it is wet out there. This is the uh, edge of that tropical storm or depression or whatever you want to call it that's moving up through uh, our area. It's not raining hard, but it's been raining constant for, well, I would say about 24 hours now. That's okay. We're inside where it's nice and dry. So I'm sure you folks remember my uh, portable workbench from the uh, siding job. I've got more siding work to do now that we've got that wood out there, but I want to make a minor change to the bench and that is to include the blue tee. So it has worked out quite well. I am pretty pleased with it, um, but I want to make a spot to sit it on the bottom of the bench and have it secure there so that it's not gonna come bouncing out or anything. So let's see what we can come up with. So I think the first thing I need to do is basically take the top and everything off of this bench just to make it easier to work on. So as you may remember, I made this bench so that I can take the top off and everything and still use it as a cart. So let's get the top out of the way. And our support legs. Of course, they sit on the one inch dowels. And we'll get rid of our parts baskets as well. So when I first built this shop and stood in here when it was empty at 24 by 24, I'm thinking, how am I ever going to use all this space? It's ridiculous. Well, I could use another 24 now. <laughs> all right, so what are we going to do here? So anything that I put on has to be removable again so that I can use this as a cart well I'll have to give this some thought as I don't want it marking this thing so 
whatever little box I build for it to sit in, I've also got to put uh, some kind of padding or something inside of it so it's not going to scuff up uh, the blue tea too badly. Well, we'll see what we can come up with. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video, and if you have, I'd really appreciate the like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you got any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work.
That should work. Well, there we go, folks. My portable workbench has now got portable power. Yeah, that's going to be very nice. I'll give that a good coating of the floor paint that's on the rest of the wood, and it'll be set to go. So all we need now is a little bit of decent weather, and I can get out there and get started on that siding. That'll be good. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. If you've been enjoying these videos, please be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up, and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. All right, remember to be safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.